Say, I'm going to go live, okay, Shay? Oh. Sorry. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Pretty Raichura here, luxury wedding planner. And um, you must have seen all the uh, promotional material that's been going out because, yes, we have changed the date from a Thursday evening to a Sunday afternoon. And we'll chop and change, chop and change just because um, some weddings have now started. But this afternoon, we will be talking to the amazing Minol Patel, who makes the most amazing cakes. Um, I've tried them, and I'm going to tell you all about them once I've added her, because she does the most amazing flavors. Let's see if we can connect with uh, Minol um, and get her onto our screen. Hey, how are you doing, Minol? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. Um, I was really, really looking forward to this afternoon because you know, you know I'm a foodie um, and we've had, you know, we've had the opportunity to work together, not just at weddings, but we've been on the curry show at uh, the BBC and we've been oh, cooking, you know, <laughs> you know we've, we've been making cakes. So I'm going to put you to the challenge. It's something I haven't even warned you about. But Minon, for those people that are tuned in with us this afternoon, Tell us a little bit more about yourself and where all this cake making expertise oh. of yours came from. Oh, what can I tell you a bit about myself? Well, as you all know, I'm Manel. Um, um, I went on this journey about nine years ago, slash about nine years ago. Well, actually a bit um, longer than that, when my son was born. And for his first birthday, all um, the, you know, all my mom friends were all making their children's first birthday cake. So I thought, okay, I'm going to have a go and decided to make a teddy bear cake. And it wasn't just an ordinary teddy bear cake. It was a 3D line down to teddy bear cake. <laughs> so that's yeah. how it kind of like started, yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, one of my friends, um, when she came around to see it, she said, I thought you were just going to have a round cake and two crop cakes for the ears and that's what it was going to be like. And then she said, you've got to take this on like a little bit further. And so for a year and a bit, I just experimented and wasn't sure. Um, and then, um, yeah, so about two years later, I decided I was going to start making cakes. And that's where the journey began. And I think wow. I was really blessed, um, you know, um, to be able to do it. And, uh, from home and yeah and the talent just came and we just just carried on creating and I was fortunate to have a lot of um, suppliers who supported me along the way so yeah that, that's how it is. That's amazing. Have you had any kind of official cake making training or anything like that? Have you been to any kind of school to learn and practice or have you just been practicing um, making them yourself? I, I started when I was very little, probably when I was about eight, nine years old, and I used to make cakes then. And then, oh, wow. yeah, yeah, and then it stopped. Obviously, got life got into uh, in the way, and I just left it. Yeah. Um, and uh, and then I started, and I thought, I think I need just a tiny bit of push. So I did do like uh, I think it was a course, but I can't remember seven weeks or eight weeks, like literally an hour uh, a week in the evenings just to sure. get to learn the basics. But a lot of it's just self-taught, a lot of it's practice, a lot of hours go into um, the practice. And um, whilst um, people think, oh, um, well, it's not really a profession because you haven't gone and qualified yourself for, with a professional qualification. Mm -hmm. It does take a lot of effort, it does sure. take a lot of practice, you know, yeah. a lot of experimenting. <laughs> Absolutely not. And, and the thing is, sometimes you're absolutely right. Uh, going away and getting the qualification, you know, one can argue it's just a piece of paper, it's a certificate, and a lot of it, you know, is your own uh, trial and error, and that's what you learn in your in your kitchen, no doubt. And I can see your creation at the back of you as well, and it looks absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I mean, if you know, that is all self-taught. That is amazing. That really is amazing. Um, so there you go. You know, maybe, maybe you can just set up your own school <laughs> of, of teaching people because you certainly got the talent there. So now there's, now there's a thought. Yes, um, I, I, I reckon. I definitely watch, think. Watch this, it. Yeah, yeah. Watch this face. She says. So what's the most innovative cake you've ever had to make? Oh, um, you mean like uh, decoration-wise or taste-wise? 
Well, well, we'll get on to the taste in a little while because I've had the privilege <laughs> of tasting some of those wonderful cakes. And, and I'm going to tell my story in a little while about about some of those tastes because I know you had to really convince me to try one of them and that actually happens to be my favorite but we'll go on to that I mean from the start to the finish there um you know we we work together we certainly work together on weddings and you know I've I've, I've sent you know you some uh, lovely clients and I've seen what you've created for them but uh, apart from my my clients because I know you know last year what you've done for some of my clients but has there been anything spectacular where clients have come to you and said, this is my theme and this is what I want. Now, can you go ahead and do it? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I mean, I, I'm going to say this. Of course, they're my cakes. They're all spectacular, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. um, but there was one I remember, which was a chandelier cake um, mm -hmm. and a very famous New York, cake maker, cake, uh, cake designer, cake artist, actually. It was his It was his idea. Um, and somebody said to me, oh, I want something like this. And it became a challenge to try and find um, the stand, the crystals that were hanging. Um, it, it, did, it did become quite a challenge to do that. And then mm -hmm. there was the whole thing about balancing, because when you've got all the tears mm -hmm. on top of each other and you've got this stand and it's supposed to be sitting on the side of the cake and then you've got these tears balancing it did become actually quite challenging um so i think that one definitely sticks in my mind um yeah. the other one that sticks in my mind was a very recent one when i get asked to replicate um either characters sometimes i get asked to replicate cakes and that's very difficult because you're mm. actually seeing another artist design and you're copying that um of course yeah so i try and add my own little um so you must be quite artistic as well yeah Are you quite, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously you know uh, being a cake artist you know you, you've got to be artistic but what about painting and drawing is that is it I, I, if, if i can take if I can take the laptop and show you, I would show you some of my paintings I've done as well. Mm. So they are they are in the house. So yes, it's been. I think um, in the family we have uh, quite a lot of artists. Um, you know, the, the talent is there. Um, mm. I've always done art from very young age, like you know, for A levels, for O levels. In those days, what what oh, they okay. used to be called, yeah, GCSE. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I did. I did all of that. I did the international baccalaureate when I did art was one of my subjects um so yeah so art um anything creative um stitching knitting crochet um you yeah. name it you know recycling is quite a big thing for me um mm -hmm. i work a lot with denim i love mm -hmm. i love denim and not only wearing it but also when once it's discarded to actually use that and i've made bags out of it wow yeah i've got an apron which you'll see later on actually yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and I remember making, um, if you remember, um, Rupa Rajani from uh, BBC Leicester Radio and made a little mm -hmm. ball for her. With, oh. So, yeah, it, yeah all, all, all sorts of creative things like that, yeah. Amazing. Wow. So if you were given the opportunity to bake a cake for someone yeah. really special, who would that be? Apart from me, of course. <laughs> you are, I've tried lots of your cake. I would definitely bake your cake. I would definitely bake it. I'd have to make you a little wedding, you know, planner cake. Um, yeah. this, <laughs> the ideas will come to me. Um, but actually, it's got to be for my son. Oh. Every time I have to create a cake for him. So you can imagine first birthday cake, second birthday cake, third birthday. You know, every year I've had created a cake for him. Yeah. And it's always trying to do something that's a little bit different from what I might have done mm -hmm. um, and do something that he, you know, he wants. It's his thing. Like last year, he was into Lego and we created, in fact, I've got it in, in the back. Oh, um, a little, um, if I can just show you. There's a little Lego character. Oh. Trying to figure it out. Can you see? This so, is, is that a birthday cake? No, this is a wedding cake. But this oh, is that's a wedding cake. Can you get the, the picture? 
Oh, yes. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to figure oh, out. Really? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Wow. So, the little Lego character called Jay from, Nin from Ninjago. Mm -hmm. Yes. Was, that was what he what he requested. So, you know, and just trying to create it all. You know, that, different. that really is a work of art. That is absolutely amazing. Now, going on to those wonderful cakes that you create from start to finish. I mean, I haven't, I've got to admit, you know, I'm a wedding planner, I come across lots of different suppliers, I come across lots of different people, but I haven't to date come across anybody who has tried to convince me and convince me very well to try a lapsy flavoured cake. And that's, there's only got to be one person and that's you, <laughs> you know, a lapsy. You know, for those people that are joining us live right now, you will agree with me. I'm sure not not everyone, because some people may like Lapsi, but Lapsi I've always seen as uh, an old lady's kind of dessert, an old massy, you know, who likes to sit there eating Lapsi, or it's something that you have like at Diwali or when some when a baby's been born, and it's one of those kind of Indian sweets that you know most people unless you're, you know, relatively older, don't actually like. So I remember, you know, when, when, when we met up and you were like, you've got to try this. And I was like, oh, what is it? And, you know, you, we, we, we went through the passion fruit and we went through um, the gulab jamun. So that's another one that I do remember because that was extremely tasty. We went through um, the passion fruit and then you're like, well, you've got to try this. And I was like, and mango and passion fruit. That's when I was like, and you're like, no, you've got to try this. And I was like, but what is this? It's lapsy. No way. I don't like lapsy. Let's not even go there. And you're like, no, no, you've got to try it. And somehow you twisted my arm. And actually, I have got to confess to all the people that are joining me, lapsy uh, uh, cake made by Minol is actually one of the best. And in fact, I think, uh, one of our clients from last year went for that flavor, if I'm not mistaken, was it? Um, Asha and Dippen, did they go for a lapsy flavored wedding cake? No, they went for um, uh, lemon lemon and elderflower. Mm. I yeah. do remember Dippen saying to me, he too loved the lapsy flavored, but I think he probably couldn't convince Asha enough. But wow, I, I must admit, you know, I'm not a lapsy person, but... You know, you put a, a, you put some, you know, lapsy little cupcakes in front of me right now. I'll, I'll have them look with my with my cuppa here because they were, you know, absolutely amazing. Where does all this inspira inspiration come from? With all those different tastes, it just it it just happens. Like sometimes, you know, I'll ask clients what kind of desserts they like, and they'll 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 say, oh, they like something, and I'll try and see how I can recreate it in in, um, in a cake. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember the, the Lapsi flavored cake, actually the original cake I made was the procession cardamom one. Mm -hmm. And it, that that's what kick-started it. And this flavor I've had going for a very long time. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been doing this business for nine years and mm -hmm. that flavor has been going at least for eight years. I if really? Uh, yeah. yeah is, it, is it quite a popular flavor yeah well it's popular now more so now than it was when i when i first kind of developed it um you know and and so just off the back of it you know the whole gulab jam flavor came and then you know i was talking to my mum once and at auspicious times like you know um mataji and stuff you know you have laps yeah. you know um so i thought weddings and birthdays are auspicious times we need to have this flavor in you know <laughs> so yeah so it just it just came and um uh a little while ago i did a mojito cake did um, you yeah yeah i'm not disappointed i did not get to try that <laughs> no, no. It, it was an alcoholic one it was for my niece's birthday she was studying mm -hmm. the you know, at that time, and she says, "Oh, you know, can you make me a cake?" And I'm like, "Yeah, of course I can." You know, yeah. So, yeah, so, so I ended up doing that one um, a couple of years ago. I think, was it? Yeah, I think it was a couple of years ago. I really used to love um, at Wagamama's. They did a cheesecake, which oh, was yeah. a white chocolate cheesecake with ginger and passion fruit, and 
that got me thinking. And yes, I did actually put that in a case and did a ginger white chocolate and, you know, passion fruit um, cake. <laughs> so. That's amazing. That is amazing. Now, I know, um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not saying this in a disrespectful way, but I think it's important, you know, as a, as a supplier for, for your clients, for my clients to know that, especially for those people that are also joining us now, your cakes aren't overly cheap. And there's a reason for that. Um, and I'm, I'm certainly one to believe that, um, you know, you, you certainly, you know, if you want something and it's for a special occasion, you do pay for quality. But, you know, quality is definitely there in terms of the taste of your cakes, but also in your ingredients. Tell me a little bit more about that, because I know when we speak, you always say, well, you know, this, this, this isn't going to come cheap because there's a lot of experimenting going on. But there's also some raw ingredients that you also like to use that maybe other cake artists, cake bakers don't actually use. Yeah, yeah. Without giving too many secrets away with my yeah. uh, baking ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, yes, um, you know, th there are certain ingredients that I use which will be of higher quality, um, mm -hmm. which obviously affects the price. Um, um, I'm not always saying that the most expensive ingredients are always the best because sometimes you do find actually good, very good quality ingredients which don't mm -hmm. cost you an arm and a leg. But I think a lot of the time, the cost actually comes not so much just from the ingredients, but actually from the time, as you said, the, the amount of time I spend um, in, in, in doing the cakes. Uh, you know, a lot of experimenting goes into my cake, maybe not particularly or, or specifically for that particular order that somebody's placed. But overall, basically, I see this as a profession as opposed to a secondary job that I'm doing, you know, in, in, in sort of as a side job to my main yeah. job. This is, this is my main job. I have to earn a living. And yes. so I pay myself not just the basic wage, I do pay myself professional fees. Um, and hence, you know, my cakes don't come cheap. Um, yeah. Having said that, the feedback I tend to get from the clients who are either first time round, um, clients I generally get back very good feedback um, uh, I try and keep my clients for life as opposed to a one-off cake thank you very much and I've got some clients who keep coming back to me year after year after year after year you know so I just know come November time it's their child's birthday I know that I need to keep this slot available um, you know I've got um, and then obviously as you build up very much like for example, you go to a coffee shop and you get your stamps and you get a discount. You know, I work that in my head and my clients do get discounts at the end of the day. So it's yeah. not really that. And with, with regards to the wedding, sometimes people think, well, it's only just cake. Why are you charging so much? With weddings, it's slightly different, a whole different ball game. Of course it is. And it's not just one one cake. It's normally a number of tiers. Um, and then sometimes people think well if it was just a single three single cakes i was buying from this is how and i'm like yeah but that's not how it works you know i have to put a lot of time into stacking them or making sure that they're 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 um looking the best you know it's a wedding at the end of the day you know you're gonna sure. make up some be fantastic your dress is gonna be fantastic you know your venue your food everything and yeah. you know, Yes, cake might be a small part, but it is still part of your wedding, you know. Of course it is. Um, so, yeah, so, so, so that. And also, um, sometimes you work with certain, certain um, venues, um, certain suppliers, and, you know, we're all in this to make a living, and people want permission. So, you know, you've got to understand that this is how the system works. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, but a lot of, I think, you know, it's... Um, looking at a professional a professional way of running a business you know insurance is cost as well so, yes. so yeah um i have i have been um asked why have i not opened a shop um or why <laughs> yeah. I'm doing it, i've got staff on and just yeah. expand it which i easily could i choose not to mm. um for two reasons i would <laughs> at the moment i manage my own business but there's only me to manage you sure. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I've got staff, then there's also staff to manage. Um, then you all, almost become a manager as opposed to the cake artist. 
Of course. Yes. Yeah. And there are overheads as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, you, you, you certainly do do a fab job because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of your cakes. Um, and I know that my clients are big fans. Um, and when you do invite them for cake tasting sessions with a cup of tea and they go through all the different varieties, I, I think to date, I don't know any of my clients that have come to sit, have a cuppa with yourself and where they've, where they've you know, tried all the different variations that they've not actually bought to. So I think that's amazing. But has anybody ever put you to the challenge and said, this is what I want, can you go and do it? Has anybody actually ever challenged you? And I tell you, and we spoke about this, and I and I actually want to see if you think you can make it work because I've got another idea. So I love my, and I think you probably know this the amount of times I've mentioned it to you in our conversations, but I love right? Could you do you think it's possible to make a savory cake like those little bodegas? within a cake. Is that possible? Is it possible? Don't challenge me. You know I'll, I'll rise to I think you're going to go do it. <laughs> That's me you know for you, yes. I, I, I just might rise to the challenge and do it. Um, I actually, um, at, at one point, I actually did. But it, also, you've got to remember, cake is supposed to be sweet. So yes. It's, Trying to convert a savory flavor into sweet, yeah, but you get like cattle taste, can't you? Do? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you have, yeah, but cattle savory, you know, like a bit of savory with a bit of mitas, you know, that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you would. Um, I did actually, I was on, on this um, uh, uh, Jimmy at um, BBC Radio, or lesser ones, and I took mm -hmm. in some cakes, and one of the flavor actually was um, basically tomato soup in a cake. Tomato yes. soup? <laughs> yes. Oh yes. my God. So the tomato um, cake with obviously yeah. butter and a lot of other flavors, there was definitely sweetness. I suppose tomatoes are a little bit sweet as well. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't think it, you know, I'm not kind of like um, holding out for loads of orders for that because, you know, at the end of the day, it is it is a slightly different uh, flavor. Mm -hmm. than flavor. But, um, bring that butter down on shark, really. Okay. Um, <laughs> Please me, I'll work on it and <laughs> try and try and get something done. We're going to have to put you to the challenge. I'm just going to quickly go to some of our messages right now as well. We have Dharmesh Mystery joining us and he's saying, I've never heard of a lapsy cake. Well, Dharmesh, if you've not heard of a lapsy cake, um, you know, I bet you haven't heard of a a ring rubber a barilla ring cake. And I think we're going to need to do another live with Minal at some point and put her to the challenge. We also have uh, Chan Palmer, who's a, a very well-known photographer that's also joining us and he's saying hi, how are you both? So uh, nice to have you joining us. We have Aman Heya joining us um, and she's saying keep up the great work and she's saying I'm the best wedding planner, thank you for that. Uh, Mini, you've just put up lots and lots of um, pictures of cakes. Um, does that mean you want to try a, a cake that Minol is making because um, if you do, and I know in fact uh, Minnie has got her 40th birthday celebrations coming up next year and uh, uh, Minnie if you've not already uh, booked out a, a cake artist you know I do highly recommend um, our Minal Ben here. We have Shastiji, uh, Ravi Shasti joining us from London he's saying Lapsy Cake uh, good to join in into this conversation and, and actually I just saw on your Facebook a little while ago Shastiji that you're actually at a wedding um, but now you're also doing so the wedding must be over but um, if you want some lapsy cake you need to be here in Leicester because London people London you know you wouldn't know anything more than the M25 and I'm joking I am actually joking because I've got we've got a few other people joining us from London right now as well no offense to you guys at, at all we have Joel Fish joining us from Mumbai who's saying hello to the both of us so thank you also uh, for joining us we have Pavik uh, Pogaita who's saying he'd love to try some of your lapsy cake. Like I said, it's not just lapsy, she makes lots more. But if you want, I think we are gonna have to put you to the challenge of uh, making that parelaring rubber to down cake. Um, so that's that's a different conversation. We have Nikesh Taklal joining us. He's saying, in fact, I shared Minal Ben's cake this morning on Insta. Oh yes, now that reminds me. 
Now, I've had lots of people tagging me today as well, because you've got a competition running, haven't you? Tell yes. us more about this competition. I, I, I am going to be giving away a cake, which you are going to see actually being decorated live. Um, and basically, it's it's a competition. It's not so much. It's it's a giveaway. And the way you will enter for the giveaway is either via my Insta page or my actual Facebook business page. Um, and what you need to do is you need to like the post. You need to share the post on your own social medias. Um, tag three people on there. And you can do it on all my platforms. And each time you do it, you know, you get the number of entries going in. Um, and it's basically going to be a delicious biscoff cake. And it's going to be vegetarian. So anybody who requires an egg-free cake, you know, that they anybody basically is eligible for it. Um, if you're vegan, unfortunately, it does have butter in it. But I can make an additional vegan cake, you never know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so, you know, the, the, the way you find me is if you just search by Cakes by Manel and you'll see the little sign. There it is, yeah. So that's my logo. So you'll see that on there so you know you've found me. Or the, un the other way of finding me is just hashtag Cakes by Manel, and that's Manel with an E-L as opposed to an A-L. Um, and you will find me and you'll be able to. Now, this competition actually will close at midnight today. Mm. And tomorrow morning, I will um, independently draw a winner and then announce it on the socials. And they can come and collect it tomorrow in time that suits them. And they can enjoy it over the bank holiday Monday. Great. Amazing. So, Nikesh, you may well be in with a chance. So, for those of you that are joining us live, you just heard what uh, Minel said. Do look Minel up, hashtag uh, Cakes by Minel. You'll see that sign, her logo, which is just at the back of her. Um, do tag three people. Lots of people have tagged me. And who knows, I could be the winner. I, I guess I can't be the winner. Can I be the winner? I can't be. Then that will be. Because if you win, you have to share that. You have to share this cake with me. And that's going to, you know, that's actually a very uh, good time now to move on to uh, the the masterclass that we said we were going to have with Minel because she has already um, semi-prepared the cake that's up for grabs uh, tomorrow. So um, shall we um, have a look at what you've already created and what still needs to be done? Yes, I shall bring the cake out and I'm just going to move the um, laptop a little bit further back so you can That's see what working on it. Absolutely um, fine. That's absolutely fine. You you, you get yourself sorted while I have a quick look at some of these messages. Dharmesh, you're saying, I, I stick with Victoria sponge or chocolate walnut cake. Well, do you know what, Dharmesh? You don't know what you're missing out on because these cakes are absolutely amazing. And in fact, you're talking about, you're actually talking about the chocolate cake. Um, and if you like Victoria sponge or chocolate walnut cake, actually, Minel then makes the best chocolate cake because I've tried her chocolate cake as well. So, you know, if you're a fan of chocolate cake, you know, again, Minel. And in fact, Nikesh, you too are a very, very good cook. Have you actually um, tried to uh, bake any cakes and decorate them? Because I've seen all the, all the stuff you've been putting up on, um, on your Insta page as well, Nikesh, and that's Chef. Uh, uh, dot Nikesh, I think if I'm if I'm not mistaken, but do feel free to put that up on the comments as well, uh, Nikesh, because he's another one that's on a little bit of a mission, um, and it's so good to know that men can cook equally as well as women. So I do like that, uh, Nikesh. Um, so yes, um, Minoben is just. Um, we can see that she's just um, stuck the cake um, on on the table, and very shortly. She will be decorating that cake. I know she's done, um, she's already prepared that cake. Um, and I can't see very well, but I think there's, she's already, you know, iced it. But we're going to see her icing it a little bit more. And there's a bit more prep. And that's the cake you guys can potentially win. So if you would like to win the cake that uh, Minel Ben is going to be um, uh, decorating very shortly, you know what you need to do, you just need to um, um, go on to her Insta page or her Facebook page and that's Cakes by Minol um, and you can find her just by hashtagging Cakes by Minol 
um, ha um, tag three people. Of course, you can tag me because <laughs> lots of people have been tagging me as well. But feel free to tag me. That's fine. But you know, it's got to be three people. Tag, uh, tag three people, and um, you could be in to win this lovely cake that she's going to be uh, making very shortly. We have um, Sushma also uh, joining us. I'm very well. How are you? Hope you're well. Um, Naish, you are saying, I really want to win the cake. Well, if you win the cake, here's a deal. For those of you that are joining in um, through Facebook Live um, or, through the, or through our YouTube channel, if any of you win tonight, here's the deal. You have to give me half of that. Otherwise, hey ho, that's just you know not fair. That is just not fair. Here she is. Look, the pretty lady herself putting on. Is that that denim apron you said that you made? Wow, isn't that yeah. you, you've stitched it and made it all yourself? Yeah, it was from it was from my baby's pair of trousers. Um, no way. That's uh, they got all opened up and uh, and then stitched together. And yeah, that is so cool. I want one of them. That is Oh, yeah. I can't believe you've done that. Is so pretty. That is so nice. Thank gosh. you. Gosh, gosh, gosh. There's a there's a lady here with many many talents. So we've got lots of people saying they all want to win the cake. So this is the cake that you can potentially win. So Minor, talk us through what you're going to be doing so now. It, as I said on 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 the um, giveaway, that it's a two layered cake. So normally. Um, you, you can either have two layers of cake inside, three layers, four layers. It just depends on the height of the cake. And um, what I've done this, for this um, competition is I've done it a two-layer cake. So there's two layers of cake, and then in between there's filling, and there's buttercream filling, and then there's um, a lovely biscoff filling as well. So mm -hmm. that's in the middle, and then the cake is iced on the outside, and you do need to chill the cake. When you're doing the drips, which you'll see in a minute for the biscoff cake, um, if the cake is not chilled and the buttercream isn't quite set, then it doesn't work as nicely. You'll see it just drips off very quickly. But let's have a go and fingers crossed this works. This is live. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is live. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, what's that? Because that, um, that's basically. And um, that's biscoff spread that I'm okay. using. Okay. Have you just melted that in the microwave? Or? Yeah. yeah. Just so, I was just gonna say, so what I've done is I've basically melted it in the microwave slightly, so it's pouring consistency. And then mm. we're just going to have a go and yeah. just see if this works. And then you're just dripping it on the side. So that's amazing. So these are this is one of the other flavors that no doubt people can uh, look out for you know uh, sorry uh, order uh, from yourself whether it's for a birthday or an anniversary maybe yeah. even for a wedding um you know there's there's lots of um you know different celebrations that people may want to um order a cake um and of course you know tomorrow is bank holiday so whoever wins this wonderful um cake you can sit in your back garden with a cup of tea call me over although i don't think we're still allowed to meet in back gardens at the moment um actually minor uh, you live outside of leicester i live outside of leicester just outside of we should meet up so yeah. we should meet up. i think we're allowed to meet up so we can meet in back gardens uh, but for those of you that are in central leicester unfortunately you cannot invite myself or minor but there's no reason why you can't come and deliver a piece of that lovely cake if you do win the competition tonight so closest you can have a, a closer look while i'm doing it or i mean i can't i can't i can't come any closer but <laughs> no, i mean the laptop yeah. till i bring the laptop a bit closer so you can have yeah it. i mean if you if you can i don't know can you all see it for those of you that are joining us live can you all see uh, ah that's 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 wonderful Oh, yes, yeah. that, that's that's amazing. Yep, keep it keep it there, and we can see uh, your uh, logo in the back as well. So that's once again that's uh, cakes by Minnow that's joining us right now. So is that setting now on the actual cake? That's yeah. why it's not. Wow. Yeah, because but not completely. Not completely. It's still soft. So if you would touch it, it would still be soft. But okay. 
basically what, what I'm doing is doing the drips. And then because the, the cake is chilled and the buttercream is chilled, it yeah. kind of like sets underneath and stops sure. it from dripping all the way down. And when it's chilled, like chilled what to, is it is it frozen? No, is no, no, just in the fridge. Just fridge, fridge cold. Okay. Just a fridge cold. If you right. don't have something, then yeah, you might want to do it in the in the freezer because it's quicker. Mm. But because I did this a tiny bit earlier than now, I um I just did it in the fridge. Um, you know. And also you get some people who are quite funny about frozen cake, although frozen cake is just as good as just normal cake. Yes. You know, yeah. um, if anything, I find, I find once cakes are frozen, they are actually a lot more moist than um unfrozen cakes. Yes, so, yes no, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Minnie, who's is celebrating her 40th next year, um, she's unfortunately had to postpone from this year. So she's now turned 40. But be before she reaches 41, uh, <laughs> Minnie is celebrating her birthday next year. In fact, I'm going to help uh, uh, make it into a bespoke uh, birthday party for her next year. So look, Minnie, if you want, uh, you know, uh, Minnie or Ben to make your 40th birthday cake, you can see how talented she is. You can see all the lovely cakes on display at the back. But here's one that she's decorating live. Uh, Nash, you're saying it's very tempting. It certainly is. And now what are you doing, Minol, then? You're spreading the rest of... Yeah, I'm just spreading it on the top a little bit just to give it a bit of, um, mm. you know, covering as well. You don't have to, but, you know. No. It's... And that, but looks like, that definitely is beginning to look like the picture that you've posted. Uh, cool. <laughs> actually win wow that is amazing that is amazing Amelia is saying yes I can see that yes um, Sushma Majitia is saying if I win I will drop it off to your front door thank you I think you need to so uh, that is the deal that is the deal if you are joining me live right now and any of you win it, you know what it wouldn't be fair if you didn't let me try this because my mouth is really watering right now and this is what Minol Ben always does to me. Um, it's actually a punishment when um, she delivers a cake to you know one of the venues for one of my clients, whether they're getting married or whether it's a birthday or whatever. And she's like, "Yep, yeah, here's the cake, but you can't have any of it." No, actually, she's not that mean. She always she always gives me a, a box full of little cupcakes. Um, you that the time miniature time. versions, the little miniature versions of what she's created for the clients, um, and I'm always. I'm always really grateful for that because they are absolutely scrumptious. Um, now that is looking really, really nice. Kiran Deep, um, how are you doing, Kiran Deep? Sagu is saying, nice cake. Yes, that is looking amazing. That is looking. That looks really, really good. So the next, um, so the next thing that we're going to do um, hmm? uh, is basically do some buttercream swirls on the top. And then decorate it with some um, lotus biscuits. That sounds amazing. Now buttercream, when you when you put the swirls on top, I guess that's something again because you're very artistic. I guess that requires a really steady hand, does it? Practice. Just, just practice. as well, just as well. I'm not there with you because that's what the plan was, and we had to change those plans that we were going to be with one another, keeping our social distance, and I was going to try and replicate what you were going, what yeah. you were doing. Um, but we decided against that because my media team are away at a, at a wedding today in London. But this is absolutely fine because I'm not put to the challenge, but you are. <laughs> so I like it. Still do that one day. Get to get to the <laughs> yeah. The class, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to now watch you with the swells. Yeah, so I'm going to go and get the buttercream and then, yeah, I'll show you how I put it in my, my piping bag and everything and then we'll take it from there and I'll just leave you looking at it. That's name. absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to quickly have a, a, a whiz through all the messages again. Uh, Naisha saying, love buttercream, buttercream swells. Yes, I do too. And my mouth is absolutely watering. Um, Minnie, you're saying, oh my God, buttercream swells. Yes, I am. You know, my mouth is really, really watering and I'm just thinking... Honestly, guys, that's Mini, Nej, Kirindi. Let me mention all these people that are here with us. Um, Sushma, Nej, again. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Gupta, Dharmesh, um, Nikesh, um, Ravi Shastri, 
Chan, Oman, if any of you, Jolpesh, if any of you win this cake today, you have to promise to share some of it with me. Look, I've got my Jaino cup here as well. I had it ready um, just in case I was, you know, I was able to be with Mino and you know, go live together, but that wasn't going to happen just purely because uh, the media team and we're together, you know, gets broadcast on various different channels, as you all know. And, um, you know, and do you know what? I wouldn't have actually let this out, um, this cake be out, um, you know, for grabs tonight because I would have sat there eating it myself. Um, but very shortly, Minel will be coming back to the screen and she will be showing us how to do those buttercream swells. Um, do you know what? You know, when I was a child, I'll let you into a secret. I used to, um, you know, when you used to make, try and attempt to make cakes at school and you had the opportunity to make those butter, um, butter cup swell, uh, swells and put them onto a little cupcake. I used to put them on my mouth and say, ah, I did, you know, because I used to love the taste. Did any of you do that? Did any of you? <laughs> I'm sure some of you did. I'm sure I can't be the only one who's a, who's, who is a naughty child. Um, I bet I bet you still do that, don't you, Nish? Uh, Nish? I bet you still um, attempt to put some of that buttercream swells in your mouth. Obviously, quickly, I try. I would dare it with you. I see. How did I know? How did I know? Um, Nish probably still does that, and I bet Mini, I bet Mini, you do that as well, don't you? You probably put some buttercream swells straight into your mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, that sounds like fun. I was just sharing my childhood secret with them that when I was at school and we used to do um, cake um, making or baking rather um, at school um, I used to put those um, buttercream swells straight into my mouth because the taste of them yum they were just yeah. so what is it you're doing there okay so th this is how I feel my piping bag so to make the swells I've got this tip oh yeah it's, it's yep. a oh, tip, yeah. and you basically have it in a uh, piping bag at the bottom mm -hmm. of the piping bag. And then the easiest way, there's a couple of ways to fill this piping bag. Um, I'm just showing you one that I used to use when I first started, because it just used to be easier to do it this way. Um, mm -hmm. And as time went on, I got I got more and more practice, and I used to just do it directly, you know, on my, in my hand. But this is just a trick that helps. So it just, if you put it over a glass or a vase or something, it just gives you um, some space and then you just fill in the buttercream there. And I just had to soften the buttercream a little bit because of the nice, lovely cold weather we're having. Oh. It kind of like became um, a little, you know, the butter basically hardens, doesn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yum. That really, <laughs> that really does look nice. Something I can definitely put straight into my mouth with that piping rag yum <laughs> there's a few other confessions you know uh there's there's a nation also saying that's something she would definitely do uh, Minnie would also do that on cheat days so Minnie's um actually on a on a healthy eating um diet at the moment so on cheat days yes i think we'd need to get together to try that buttercream just on its own <laughs> need to turn around you're saying, great work, ladies. Minol made my daughter's cake. It was delicious. Oh, there you go. So we've got Nita Chohan um, saying how wonderful um, her cake was. Uh, oh, yeah. It was a two-tiered cake. It was lovely. Oh, <laughs> lovely. For her, for, is that for her? Um, her daughter's like 18. Was it 18? Oh, I didn't Amazing. Wow. That is beautiful. So there you go. It's all... So as you can see, it's all in the bag now. Pressing it down to the bottom. Yeah. Now probably, if you fill it up too much, it becomes really difficult, actually. I probably filled them a tiny bit too much, but it's okay. You know, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to do some swells. Now, the best way to do the swells, um, either you, we can do the swells like this, but with this one, I'm just going to press and just lift it up. Mm -hmm. so that get some mm -hmm. um, well, here we go. Watch. Wow, look at that, guys. That looks amazing. Imagine that now. Nice, just imagine that going straight into your mouth. Mm. I'm going to do my opposite. 
this one's going to be slightly different. So I'm just moving it around a little bit. Okay. okay. So by moving it around, that's where you're getting that kind of yeah, the difference in the in both of them. Like this one's got a bit of a wiggle, but this one's probably got a lot more wiggle. Mm. Yeah. So the the wiggly you get the wiggly this yeah. well. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Now I'm just Ooh. thinking how many more to do one. Do we? Yeah, I think we'll get. I don't know. Three more. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. Oh, Sushma is saying when I used to mix the butter and sugar, I used to eat half of it. It was so yummy. Oh, <laughs> I can imagine. It really is. Um, now you know the buttercream that you're um, like swirling on top. Is there any buttercream in in inside the actual cake as well? Yeah. Yes, between the two layers, there's buttercream and also the um, biscuit filling. So yeah, and the biscuit filling as well. Wow, imagine that for a bank holiday Monday. What a treat! What a treat that would be. Uh, we've got Gupta Ry saying, "Minal um, did our daughter's fifth birthday cake. It was fab, and that's um, Yamini." Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've got someone asking a question. Manisha J. Cooker is saying, how do you colour buttercream using gold colour without using alcohol? Okay, that's that's time for another whole lesson, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you can... Um, yeah, that, that can become a little bit difficult. The One way is you can get the gold sprays and you can use the gold sprays on it. Mm -hmm. And you can do it that way. But to be mm -hmm. honest, to, to um, colour buttercream gold, it mm -hmm. is very difficult. If you've got gold leaf, it's slightly different. You can add gold leaf to the, you know, to, to the cakes and the size of the cakes. But mm -hmm. it depends what she means by colouring buttercream. So if she means she wants a solid gold buttercream colour, then you know one of the ways is to get um, uh, one of the spray cans. Um, I don't know if they've got any alcohol or not, so I'd have to look into it. Um, okay, so I hope that helped, um, Anisha. I hope that helped you. Um, Minnie is asking, how do you win? Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll um, let Minnie go through how you can win once again. <laughs> so. Um, Basically, Minnie, what you need to do is you need to go onto my social platforms, which is obviously Facebook and also Instagram, mm -hmm. and see the picture of this cake or a similar cake. Um, and on there, I request that you like that post, you share the post, and you tag three people who you would like to share this cake with. Um, and you do it on all my platforms and then if you do it on all three platforms, all two platforms plus my personal Facebook as well, then you get three entries in basically. So yeah, just um, that, that's what you do. And then tonight it closes at about midnight, and then I will try and pick a winner tomorrow. Can I can I have a go? Yes. Am I allowed? Am I? Yes. It's yes, not a perfect to win first. So what if I win? <laughs> <laughs> if I win, do I have to share it with all the people that are joining me? Because I'm, I'm I'm asking them. I'm saying to them that if any of them win, they have to share well, it. Well, we'll 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 we don't have anything left. <laughs> we we'll knocking on your door, won't we? I know. No. I, I think I'll have to lock the door. There we go. So Minnie's just done it. So she's gone and she's just put done. So she's going and gone and um, shared it and liked it. So that's great. Thank you, Minnie. What do we have there? So the next thing I'm going to add to it is the yummy Biscoff Lotus Biscuits. So they're going to go on the decorations now. So I shall just lower this down so you can see what I'm doing. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So basically, they're all going to go in one direction because it makes sense. So if they're all going to be facing this way, they'll all be going facing that way. Mm -hmm. And it's just basically placing them between the swirls we've just done. I think I've just landed myself in trouble. Everyone's saying, yes, I have to share. <laughs> I have to share if I win. Oh my God, that means there wouldn't be anything left for me. <laughs> That's not fair. If you I, know, if I, I can I'm... make you one specifically for you. How I about that one? I think, I, think that sounds, I, think, I think that sounds good. And I think we have to put 
uh, Minal went to the challenge and get her to make the Barilla Ringra Bajitano cake for us. And that's something I will share. So I can share a little bit of the Ringlu and a little bit of the Bajitano and I can share that with everyone, as long as I have the best bit. But you know what? Which is what, the masala? Sorry? Which is the best bit, the masala? The masala, yeah, you know, the, what, the, the stuff that's in the Bajita and the Ringla and all that kind of stuff. So I, I, you know, I reckon I think you should try that. What do you think, Minnie? What do you think? Yeah. What, what, what does anyone think? Do, should we put Minil then to the challenge and get her to make a Barela Ringra Bajita no shak, um, no cake? Um, that would be that would be something very unique, couldn't it? <laughs> now that is looking awesome. That really and look at that, guys. You saw that cake. That was just there was nothing there. And within literally within minutes, look how glamorous that actually looks. That looks really really tempting. Wow, I think I can eat that. <laughs> oh, Minnie wants it to be spicy. She said, if you do do a parella ringa butterano cake, so she said it's got to be spicy and lot full of lots of masala. So Minnie, I think you should have that for your 40th birthday. Oh, no, she's also saying we should put you through to the test. There you oh, go. Gosh. That's so your many people, So many people want to put me to the test. That really does look so nice. Now, I'm regretting not being with you at the same place because I wouldn't have let you run this competition. I would have eaten part of that. <laughs> So to finish it off, there's a little gap on the top. I'm just going to see if I can lift the laptop up to show you. Okay. And I'll just fill some buttercream in there. Mm. Oh, Thanks. yes. Beautiful. Wow. That yeah. looks that looks amazing. Yes. So I'm just going to put a little butter, buttercream in there. Check that out, guys. Look at that finishing. Wow. So, you know, Dharmesh, you were saying you only like chocolate and walnut. I bet you're tempted to eat this now. Check that out. That is just amazing. That really does look really, really good. Yeah. Ring Rabatu Danushak with nuts. <laughs> oh, no, he's saying you must be nuts. No, no. I'm talking about you being nuts because you want a walnut and chocolate cake. <laughs> so you, you don't, what about this one? This one looks so cool. Wow. That is amazing. So that is up for grabs. So if you haven't already tagged Minor, shared, um, you know, her, her page with three others, uh, do so. It's not too late. That looks so cool. Wow. What do you think, guys? Thumbs up. Send lots and lots of love hearts. We like being loved. Send lots of love hearts if you like what you see right now. That is amazing. Wow, wow, wow. That's what I can say. You can look back on our um, YouTube channel, which is Let's Talk with Brithi Raichara. You'll see lots of our um, past videos on there as well. And of course, you can see this on, on my Facebook page um, or, of course, on Minnow Ben's um, Facebook page. Um, it will appear on there later on as well. And of course, if you are on LinkedIn um, and you want to look back at how uh, Minnow Ben just very quickly and very elegantly um, put that whole um, decor together, um, you know, do, do look back at this video. I Minoben, mean, that was absolutely amazing. So, you know, just within minutes, you were able to create that. And that, again, just shows how talented you really are. Just, just one thing, I'm just going to quickly show you. I'm not going to cut this cake because obviously it's actually going to be something <laughs> else to take away. But um, when, when you're cutting the cake, most of us, if it's round cake, we just think about cutting it in, in just go around the cake and cutting triangles, yeah? yeah? Which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but there is a different way of cutting cake. And if you just bear with me, I will bring a board and I'll show you how to actually cut Oh, it. that would be awesome. Yes. yes. You know. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Please, please do. Please and you please. get slightly more portions as well. Yeah, just bear with me a second. Yeah. That would be great because I don't know about you guys, but it's that's very, very true. Sometimes when you cut a birthday cake or even a wedding cake, anniversary cake, whatever it is, sometimes it's very difficult to cut them into equal parts. And sometimes people get a bigger half. Now, how can a half be bigger? Because a half is a half, right? Half is <laughs> half is a half of the actual bit. But Minoben, brilliant. There you go. She's going to show us how to do it. Go on so then. what you do is um, 
normally we would kind of like cut there and then just cut through. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Um, the way I would cut a cake, and I often get asked to cut cakes, especially at family events where I've made the cake. Um, <laughs> and the way I cut it is I cut across completely, like cut in half. Yeah, two semicircles. Okay. And then you just basically cut an inch this way, another inch, oh. this, another inch this way, and the same on the other side. And then you do the same and you make a, a, a cut across again. And okay. then you just cut them and you will get oh. your, your um, squares. Okay. okay. And the portions come out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's really useful because I was just saying that sometimes, and I, you know, when I cut my own cake, whether it's a birthday cake or, you know, help the kids when, when it's their birthday, I do it like how most people probably do it, and that is. You know, you cut them in, in, in those slices like that. And sometimes you have a, you know, the, the the slices are all different. And, you know, people often say, can I have the bigger bit? Or can I have the bigger half? Well, a half can't be bigger. But this way, that's a really clever idea. So I really like that. I'm going to remember that for next time. So I hope everybody that's also joining us um, has found that extremely informative. Now, just before we finish off, Let's speak to the lady herself once again. Any words of wisdom? Any last uh, bit of advice uh, from you, Minolga? Oh yes. Um, I I find that when this when you're baking a cake, um, if you're baking a cake and you're going to ice it, I find it easier to ice the cake once it's actually been chilled. Mm -hmm. So if you bake it the day before, keep it in the fridge overnight, and then ice it the next day and ice it while the cake is chilled rather than taking it out and back to room temperature, that's actually easier to, to um, work with. Mm -hmm. um, also, once you've cut a slice off and you've got more cake left over, how do you make sure that it doesn't dry out? The yeah. best thing I suggest is take a slice of bread, attach it to the cut cake, hold it in with a cocktail stick, and your cake will stay moist but the bread on the outside might dry out. Ah, that's a very clever idea. There you go, some words of wisdom. Thank you so, so much uh, for that, uh, Minoben. And once again, for those people that want to enter into the competition um, to win that lovely cake that uh, Minoben has just put together, uh, what are the details, Minoben? So go onto social media, um, go onto um, Instagram and my Facebook page, um, if you search for cakes by Minel with an E-L, you shall come across both pages and on there the instructions are all there, which is basically you like the post, you share the post, you tag the three different people that you'd like to share the cake with, and get them to do the same, then you've got a better chance of winning as a collective. Um, and I shall make um draw the winner tomorrow um the competition ends tonight at midnight and if anybody watching today right now wins it then please make sure you share it with you then thank you thank you so much i'm just going to quickly go over to the messages before we finish off today uh nature saying thank you minal ben love the cake how much is saying if you are referring to Ringra Bajadano Shak, you must be nuts. Yes, we, we know that. Bindi uh, Shah is saying, looks very royal, like a crown. It, yeah, it does look like a crown. Um, and it is a royal cake. So anybody wanting to try the royal cake, don't forget um, to enter today's competition. It finishes at midnight. So uh, thank you very much once again to Minal then for that very informative um cake decorating masterclass. Uh, we shall definitely have you back on here uh, sometime in the future with that uh, challenge we've all put you to, and that's to make that Vingra cake. So we're going to leave that uh, thought with you uh, and love you and leave you. But once again, thank you. And do let us know who the winner is. Do tag me into that as well so that, um, you know, whoever the winner is, if they're joining me right now, I'm going to hold them to account. They have to share a piece of that cake with me. So thank you so much, Minova, thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So for those of you people that enjoyed um, that uh, lovely masterclass uh, with Minoben and uh, maybe joined us a little bit later, 
Do subscribe to um, Let's Talk with Brittany Raichura on YouTube and you can watch the whole thing. Of course, you can watch, um, watch it on our Facebook pages. That's um, my Facebook page or uh, Minnell, Cakes by Minnell uh, on her Facebook page as well. And of course, you'll see some of this on our Insta pages as well. And of course, if you are on LinkedIn, do look out on LinkedIn too. I will be back again next week with yet another guest but from me, Brittany Writer, award-winning wedding planner. Do um, you know keep in touch with us, do stay tuned with us, and uh, we shall bring you um, other suppliers in the trade, in the industry, who can show off their talent as well. But for now, goodbye to all of you. Bye-bye.